friends, welcome. My name is Brittany and I'm so happy that you're here today. I'm excited to offer you a practice focusing on releasing tension in the region of the neck, shoulders, upper back, as well as the chest. Especially in these past few weeks, I'm sure we've all been using technology a lot more, which is not a bad thing. But all this excess sitting, as well as looking down at our phones, our computers, even reading, has caused us to kind of slouch over. So it's really important that we counterbalance that and do the opposite just as much. So we have to reopen and expand and extend these areas. For this practice, I'm encouraging you to grab something that you can use as a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap at home, that's okay. Just grab maybe a belt or a t-shirt that you can roll up and then maybe a blanket or a beach towel. So go ahead and grab those items. When you're ready, place them near the front of your mat We'll be starting in Sukhasana in a seated shape, or you can also sit kneeling if that feels better. Set your sacred space, and let's begin. So I'm sitting up on a blanket. Again, you can use your blanket or a couch cushion or a towel, so whatever you need, or maybe you don't need anything at all. Coming into Sukhasana here with me, cross-legged position. If this isn't serving your hips or your knees, and you've already started to elevate the hips and that's still not working for you, uh, feel free to sit up against the wall or maybe just sit up higher. You can even sit in a chair for this first portion or you can sit kneeling, so sitting back onto your heels. So coming into your comfortable seat. Resting the hands wherever it feels best, lap, thighs, or knees. I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose, feel all the way up. And a big open mouth, sigh out. Let's do that again, inhale, filling up. And letting it go. Once more, deep breath, filling the belly up. Feel the rib cage expand and the heart lift. And big release out the mouth. And just allowing your attention to move inward here. Closing down the eyes and letting your eyes rest in the back of your skull. Bringing a slight tuck of your chin towards your chest so you can feel that lengthening action in the back of your neck. Notice how you feel right now, how you're showing up. Like I said, this is going to be a shorter practice, really focusing on the region of the shoulders, the chest, the upper back, the neck, all parts of the body that we tend to hold a lot of tension, stress. So we're going to release that together today. Focusing on smooth, even, deep breaths. Here in the present moment, meeting yourself with eyes of love and compassion and trust. Bringing the hands to heart center here in Anjali Mudra. Thumbs come to the center of the chest. We gently lift the heart to meet the thumb. And take in a moment here with this gesture of salutation, this mudra, perhaps setting an intention for this practice for the day ahead. Maybe just choosing one word today. This might be a word that represents something that you're working towards or working on. Or maybe it's something you're inviting in. might be holding it close to your heart. Can we seal this intention in together? Sit up even taller, big breath in. Open mouth side out. Gently bowing the head down, releasing the back of the neck. Sealing in that intention today. the chin tucked into the chest, even letting the head go a little bit farther towards the floor, release the hands towards the knees, 
lightly pressing onto the knees. We'll start with some very gentle seated cow and cats. On an inhalation, drawing the heart forward, shoulders back, gazing up, open the throat. Exhale, rounding through the spine, shoulders draw forward, chin to chest, belly in. Just like that, inhale, gliding the hands on the knees, support, open up. Exhale, rounding, taking it back. Two more like that, inhale, opening up. Exhale, taking it in and down. Once more, inhale, lightly pressing onto the knees. Exhale, rounding down. Good, coming back up to center. From here, you're slowly gonna drop your right shoulder down. So your hands are still on your knees. Draw your right shoulder down towards the floor and look over your left shoulder. Breathe here. Fill in that nice stretch on the outside of that right shoulder, up into the right side of your neck. One more breath. And then pressing off the knees, the thighs come back up to center. Inhale, exhale, take it to the other side. Left shoulder comes down, gazing over that right shoulder, breathing here. Inhale, center, let's do it again. Exhale, dropping right shoulder down, looking over. Inhale, center. And last time here, exhale, dropping the left shoulder down. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the fingertips or the palms behind the lower back. Whatever direction serves your wrist today, and you can be on the palms or onto the fingertips for more space. Inhale, lifting the heart, lifting the gaze towards the sky. Exhale, squeezing the shoulder blades towards one another and send them down the back. So really feel this opening in your chest. Breathe. If you want a little bit more, be very mindful of the weight that you place into the fingertips, also into the palms. You might lift your hips and press the shins and the knees down into the floor as you find a little bit more space in your lower back. One more breath here. And if you're lifted, slowly, gently coming back down. Good. Interlace the fingertips in front of the heart and place the palms to the chest. So make this connection. Take a deep breath in, feel the heart into the palms. Exhale, press it out. Stretching through the wrists. Inhale, sending the palms up towards the sky, maybe looking up. Exhale, over to the right, side body stretch as we still wake up the wrists a little bit more. Inhale, coming back up to center. Exhale, over to the left. You might even look up at your right elbow. Inhale, center, one more time, both sides. Exhale to the right. Maybe look at the left elbow. Inhale, center, exhale, over to the left. Inhale, center, palms in prayer, moving into the heart center. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Beautiful, releasing the eyes open. From here, we're gonna come into tabletop. So take your time, come to hands and knees, Feel free to pad your knees with a blanket if you'd like, adding a little bit more support for the knees, totally up to you. You can also roll um, the sides of your mat. So coming into tabletop, spread the fingers, shoulders over the wrists, hips are over the knees, grounding down, and feel yourself pressing into the earth as you send the shoulder blades into space. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, dropping the belly, arching the back, Lighting the heart forward through the gate of the shoulders into cow. Exhale, rounding through the spine, chin to chest, cat. Inhale into cow, drop the belly, arching the back. Exhale into cat. Again, inhale. 
inhale, drop the belly, leading the movement from the tailbone like a wave. Exhale, rounding in the calf. Last round, inhale, cow. Exhale into cat. Pausing in cat pose, pressing the mat away even more, chin to chest, and we hollow out the belly here. So feel the belly button drawing into the spine. Back of the neck is long, and just breathing deeply into the upper back, back of the heart space here. You might even rock your tail, hips side to side, wagging it right to left. Coming back up to center. Grounding into your left hand. Inhale, reaching the right hand high. Open twist to the right. Exhale, threading the needle. Right shoulder comes down. Right arm comes under. Drop the right temple to the mat. That left hand might stay right by the face for support. Some of you might walk the fingertips forward towards the front of your mat. Or maybe you take the hand up towards the sky. Bending at the elbow and rest the hand on the lower back. Or maybe you grab towards the top of the right thigh. So find what works for you. Here we're really focusing on the stretch on the outside of the right shoulder. Keep pressing actively into the top of the right hand, that right forearm, to maintain the twist and breathe. Feel this opening in the left side of your chest lengthening action from the right hip crease all the way up into the right shoulder and then releasing that left hand back by the face rising back up the way we came in right hand sweep it high open twist and then from here just start to take some little bits of movement for the right shoulder maybe you take some big big arm circles here with me maybe they're a little smaller you can even bend your elbow, take the fingertips to the shoulder, and do something like this. Maybe just sending the gaze down, or maybe the gaze follows the rotation. So always working with what feels good to you in that moment. Being curious and exploring different ranges of movement in your body. And then releasing the right hand down. Inhale into cow pose, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, rounding through the spine, back into cat. Inhale, cow, light on the wrists, spread the fingers. Exhale, into cat. Coming back to center, grounding into the right hand. Inhale, left hand, sweep it high, open twist to the left. Shoulders are stacking here. Try to make sure that your right hip's drawing forward, left hip back. And then exhale, thread the needle. Left arm comes underneath the right, left shoulder comes to the mat, left temple rests. And then finding the version that works for you, the right hand might stay by the face. It might go forward, or maybe you take the twist a little deeper, maybe grab for the top of the left thigh. Keep breathing here. Notice how the twist affects the breath, but it doesn't stop it. Just a little different sensation. Keep seeking to find those smooth, even inhales, even exhales, even here. Stretching through the outside of that left shoulder, bringing out the spine. in the bind, start to release the hand, back down to the floor, meeting by the face, take your time, rise back up, left hand sweep it high, open twist to the left, and take some movement in the left shoulder, take your time, be mindful that you're not collapsing all the weight into that right wrist, press out of the right shoulder, finding movement that works for you. And releasing that left hand down, tabletop. Inhale, tucking the toes, lifting the knees off the mat. Holding here, hovering table. One more breath, inhale. 
Exhale, going all the way up and back to downward facing dog. If there was a blanket underneath you, just moving it very slowly off to the side, spreading through the fingers and finding a nice strong downward facing dog shape, upside down V. Spread the fingers wide, grounding into the mounds of the fingers. Maybe bend the knees here, maybe both starting bending the knees at the same time, draw the belly to the top of the thighs, just like a dog waking up in the morning. I'm sure we've all seen them do this. Feels so good. Lengthening through the lower back and then releasing the heels, maybe bending one knee at a time, stretching through the hamstring of the opposite leg, pressing the opposite heel down, and then take your time to switch. Keep drawing the outer edges of the armpits down towards the mat, the outer edges of the mat. So we're creating space on the upper back Shake the head, no, yes. Keep drawing the belly in, and the hips keep going high. And then we start to settle into downward facing dog. Remember, knees can stay soft. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, sending the right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee towards the nose, lift high onto the back toes, and step or scoop the right foot right in between the hands. Drop your left knee down, you can scoot that left knee back even more if you want to stretch through the left hip flexor a little bit more. Pad the knee if you need to, pressing into the right foot, reaching the arms up, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Right knees forward, we'll start to rotate off the wrists here. Feel heaviness in your lower body, but a lightness in your upper body. So if someone's pulling you up, finding a sense of balance here, you can always tuck the back toes. Not only does that lighten the load on the back knee, but it provides a little bit more stability and support here in this shape. Take a deep breath, inhale, reach a little higher. And as you exhale, bending the elbows, take hands in prayer position and draw the thumbs towards the nape of your neck. So we're going to stretch to the triceps here, to the armpits, the upper back, pressing into that right foot. It's a little bit of a balance challenge, so be easy on yourself, take your time. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart, press into the right foot as you do this, and then exhale, send the head back. So you're coming into a back bend here, so we open up the chest, the upper body, upper back region. Keep lengthening the tailbone towards that left heel. So we're continuing to create space in the lower back. One more breath. Take your time, releasing hands down either side of the foot. Lift your back knee, step back high plank as you breathe in. Exhale, drop the knees, lower to the belly. Take your time, elbows hug in. When you get there, untuck the toes. Press through all 10 toenails, lifting the chest. Stay low for baby cobra. So draw the tailbone down, press through all 10 toenails. Take another big breath in. Exhale, lower down. From here, tent the fingertips off the mat. Coming up into this tented finger shape, almost as if you have cupcakes underneath your hands. You don't want to squish them. Elbows lift, coming into fierce cobra. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, dip the left shoulder down towards the mat, look over your right elbow. Inhale, lift, find the fluidity in this movement. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Good, inhale, center, slowly and gently roll it back down. Good, take the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, press up and back to downward facing dog. Take a moment, check back in, any little bits of movement you need here. Always honoring that, meeting yourself wherever you are, being kind to yourself, taking your time, draw the shoulders away from the ears, big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, left toes, float it high. Three-legged dog. Lift high up to the ball of that right foot so the right heel is lifted. 
knee towards the nose, step or scoot the left foot forward this time. Wiggle the right toes back and we drop the right knee. Rising up, Anjaneyasana, low lunge, other side, left knees forward, hips are in one line, and we breathe here. Rotate out the wrists if you need to. Keep pressing actively into that left foot as we open up through that left hip. And scooting this right knee back a little bit more, maybe, so you find a deeper stretch in the right hip flexor. Big breath in. Exhale, cactus the arms this time. Lift the chest. Maintain length in the lower back as you lift the heart. So it's not about how back, far back you go. It's about how much space we can continue to create in the lower back, while at the same time offering the heart up. One more breath. Elbows sink a little heavier. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands come down, framing the foot. Lift the back knee, step back, high plank, breathe in. Exhale, knees down, lower to the belly, take your time. Untucking the toes, inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, soften down. All right, from here, you're gonna extend your right wing, right arm out, right palm facing down. Shift your gaze over to the left and rest your right cheek, right temple to the mat. Keep pressing into your left hand here, lift your left leg, and you're going to bend your left knee and start to guide the sole of your left foot to the floor and the outside of your right leg, or rather, I guess, the inside of your right leg. Now, if this is just way too much for you right now, another option is to keep the knee bent, but plant the foot on the outside of the right leg this time, so towards the left corner of your mat. If that's still too much, then just bend both knees like this, like you're sleeping in fetal position on the side body, and we get a more mild stretch in that right shoulder. So find what works for you. This would be the most intense. You might even accentuate it a little bit more by reaching the left hand high, maybe bending the elbow, resting the back of the left hand on the lower back. So it's up to you. Let's just breathe into this. This is one of my favorite shoulder stretches. Sometimes it can be really intense, so just really take your time. Find what feels right to you. If it's ever painful, please step back from it. Always meeting yourself with eyes of love and compassion and trust. Smooth, deep breathing here. right shoulder, left side of your chest, releasing the left hand back by the face, take your time, coming back to center, extending the left leg, releasing back towards the belly, and then from here, bending the right elbow, extending your left arm out, palm facing down, shift the gaze over to the right, so rest your left temple, left cheek. Pressing into this right hand will help you lift that right leg, bending your right knee, planting the foot on the floor, or right in front of that leg or behind it, so your choice. Always the option to bend both knees, stacking the thighs, as if you're in fetal position. So find what works for you, perhaps taking that Red arm up, resting the hand on the lower back. Opening up to the right side of your chest here as we stretch to the left shoulder. Relaxing your face, soften the gaze. Smooth, even breaths. in your jaw, your cheeks, one more breath here. For those of you in the bind, releasing the right hand gently by the face, take your time. Coming back to the center, hands come underneath the shoulders this time, and we press back into a variation of child's pose, knees together, feet together. Let's take the hands back by the feet, 
Just melt your torso over the top of the thighs, resting forehead on the mat. Or if you have something nearby you want to support your head with, feel free. You can just use your hands if you'd like, or your forehead can just float. Just giving our shoulders a little break here. Maybe massage the forehead, legs relax. Your third eye center, the point of divine clarity and of intuition. taking the hands underneath the shoulders and just pressing yourself up so near the back of your mat so I'll just scoot up a little bit so you can still see me we're coming into Vajrasana Thunderbolt pose sitting on top of the heels now if this is just too much for the ankles right now and it's not working for you and your knees another option is just to sit all the way down cross-legged and we're gonna open up the upper back even more our shoulders even more and even our neck with Gaurudasana arms eagle arms so sit up tall wherever you are, whether that's on the heels or cross-legged. Inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up first. Palms are apart. And before we come into Garudasana, let's first take the right fingertips towards the floor. If they don't touch the floor, they can just float. Bending the right elbow if it is touching the floor and reaching the left arm over. You might even walk the right fingertips farther away from you, stretching through the left side of your body. One more breath in. As you breathe out, reaching that left hand over to the right corner of your mat and then sweeping over to the other side. Right arm sweeps up, bending the left elbow. And as you exhale, breathing deeply into the right side of the body. Maybe just dropping the chin towards the chest. So getting a nice stretch in the back of the neck here, side of the neck. One more inhale. Exhale, reaching forward to the left corner of your mat, extending through the lower back, take it to the other side. Big breath in. Exhale, left fingertips reach to the top right corner of your mat, then to the left, over to the other side. Last time here, inhale. Exhale, stretching through the right side. Pressing off the left fingertips, come back up to center, inhale. And as you exhale, bend the elbows. So we'll start with the right arm first. So take the right arm underneath. First option is to take just the first bind, which is the elbow stacking. So your left elbow is in the crease of your right. From here, if this is what you do, you just take the back of the hands together or your right pinky to your left thumb. That might be enough. If you wanna go a little deeper, then the full bind is the palms together. And if neither of those work for you, then just grab opposite shoulder like you're giving yourself a big hug. So find what works for you, but whatever variation you choose, be mindful that we do want to try to keep our shoulders and our elbows in line. That's where you're going to feel more of a stretch in the upper back. Draw the shoulder blades down the back here and breathe. Keep drawing the shoulders away from the ear so your neck is really long here. You can send the gaze towards the thumbs if they're out in front of you. Or maybe we just close our eyes. Breathe into this stretch. The neck, the upper back areas where we hold a lot of tension. Feel the shoulder blades spreading apart here. And then we'll add even more to that stretch by bowing down. So exhale. Just bowing your chin to your chest. space, even more space that you're creating in your upper back. Notice if you tightened up in your jaw here, that tends to happen. Try to relax your jaw. One more breath. And take your time. If you're bowing, come back up. Release eagle arms, open up your arms to the side like you're gonna give someone a really big hug. Reach, 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 lift the chest. Exhale, palms towards one another and start to round. Just like that. Inhale, opening up, big hug, look up, offer your heart to the sky. Exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, opening up. 
time, hands to heart center, bowing the head, take a moment here. All right, lifting the head up, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, cactus the arms, this time without arching the back, so just the arms are involved here. Try to keep the spine neutral, so try not to lift or protrude the chest forward or the ribs forward. One more big breath in. Exhale out. Good. Find an eagle wrap on the other side. So this time now the left arm comes under, right elbow sits into the crease of the left elbow. Either back of the hands to touch, or left pinky to right thumb, or full bind. Or maybe you grab opposite shoulders again for the big hug. So find what works for you. But again, remember shoulders, elbows in one line. Soften the shoulders away from the ear, creating space in the upper back region. Maybe close the eyes, a slight drop of the chin towards the chest, so the back of the neck is long here. Deep breaths. even more. Take another big breath in. As you exhale, start to bow. Elbows towards the belly button. Chin to chest. Crown of the head down. So feel your breath flowing into the upper back. Back of the heart space. time, come back up to center, opening the eyes gently, releasing the hands, take the fingertips behind the lower back, tent the fingers, a variation of camel to reopen through the chest after rounding. So we're here on our finger pads, hopefully you're still sitting on tops of the feet, but if you were cross-legged you can still do this. We did this earlier in the beginning of the practice. Open up the heart to the sky, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and maybe go a little higher this time and lift the hips. Draw the tailbone towards the heels, wherever you are, pressing into the shins and the knees, and breathe. And we come back down, take your time. And from here, let's all swing our legs out in front of us, whether you were cross-legged or kneeling, shake it out, give yourself a little massage here, flush it out. All right. We're gonna take a twist here. So we're gonna send the right leg up, bend your right knee, and cross your right leg over your left, planting your right foot on the outside of your left knee. Flexing this left foot, take your right fingertips behind you for support of the spine, sit up really tall. Option to grab on the outside of that right shin, or a little bit deeper would be to bend the elbow, take it to the outside of the knee, and then twist here. Big breath in. Exhale, twisting over to the right. Again, inhale, sit up tall, use the support of that back hand. Exhale, twist. One more, inhale. Exhale over to the right, maybe looking over the right shoulder. All right, coming back to center. And we release the right foot, extending the right leg, shake it out to the other side. Bend that left knee, crossing the left foot on the outside of the right. Bring the left fingertips behind you for support of your spine. Either wrapping around the shin or bending the elbow if you did this on the other side and take it to the outside with now the left knee. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, opening up the chest to the left. Keep breathing, inhale, finding length. Exhale, opening up the heart, stacking the shoulders in one line, opening the chest to the left. One more, inhale. Exhale, maybe looking over the left shoulder. All right, coming back to center and bring the gaze first, chest, shoulders, and we release. Release the leg, shake it out. Okay, so from here we're gonna come into cow facing pose. And it's a hip opener as well as a heart opener, chest opener, because you're using a bind. Um, that's why we have the strap. 
or your t-shirt or your belt. Now if you find that the portion that we do in the lower half of the body, the legs version, is not happening for you right now and you just want to focus on opening up through the shoulder region, that's totally fine. You can just sit cross-legged and then do just the arms. For those that want to do the legs, then we'll do that together. So to get into it, coming onto hands and knees. First, let's come into a high plank, get a little bit more energy here through the legs before we sit back down. So spread the fingers, maybe take a couple of rocks front to back. And then finding stillness here in a high plank, take three deep breaths. Feeling length through the whole spine, out the crown of your head. Pressing the ground away, strong shoulders here. One more breath. Good, and then releasing the knees. So we come from tabletop into Gomukhasana, cow facing. So from here, you're gonna lift your right knee up, cross your right knee behind your left. So now your right thigh is behind your left thigh. Opening up your feet, and when I, for some reason, just see handlebars, they look like handlebars to me, so whatever you see, feet are wide, and then you start to walk the hands towards you, have those props nearby, and you should be able to sit in between your heels. So, I'll scoot up a little bit, hopefully you can still see me. And maybe it will just help you if I turn around so you can see what's going on here. So your left thigh is on top, right thigh is on bottom. And now for a lot of us, this might be a lot in the outer hip region. So what I really like to do, grabbing that blanket, you can fold it even more if you want to sit up higher, or a block, or a couch cushion. And by elevating, maybe today that's too high for me. I've been doing this a lot this week, so maybe I'm a little bit more open than I thought. So just elevating the hips in any pose um, where you're crossing your legs and it's a hip opening will help you ease some tension from the outer hip region. Also softens through the knees. So maybe once you've set up a little higher, you find this is easier. And then for those that want more of a sensation in the outer hip region, even into the IT band, into the glutes, then you can walk the feet forward and get the shins more parallel towards the front of the mat. So I'll turn to the side. So again, if you didn't catch that, more sensation can be found by getting your shins parallel to the front of your mat. Now that might be a lot, because it is quite a lot. So then just walk the heels closer. So find what works for you. You can even take another blanket or a pillow underneath this left thigh. And again, if this is just not working for you today, you've already tried elevating the hips, you've already walked the heels in as far as they go, and it's just not working, then just come all the way in the cross leg, and that's fine. So once you're here, Breathe, make sure your knees are somewhat stacking. Now let's grab either our strap or what we brought to our mat in place of a strap. So you're gonna take your strap in your left hand and you're gonna bend your left elbow. So send your left hand high. I'll have to make mine a little bit longer. So one part of the strap will just be here. This is a really long strap. So straps in the left hand, bend your left elbow and then the other part of the strap should drape behind the back. Now you bend your right elbow and use your right hand to find the other end of that strap. From here, sit up tall, and the focus here is opening up the chest and the shoulders, so we want to avoid rounding, that's why you have the strap here. So start walking the hands towards one another, but once you start noticing that you round, then that means that we have to walk the hands farther apart, and that's okay. Some of you might find that you don't even need the strap and that you can actually take a bind in your hands grabbing fingertips. I am certainly not that open right now, so I'm not gonna do that, I'll use my strap. So find what works for you. Left elbow up, right elbow down, heart is lifting, and we're opening up to the back body. So for those that are with me in full gomokasana, cow facing, you're getting a hip opening as well as a shoulder chest opening. Maintaining the length of your spine is the most important part of the shape. For those that can hold the length of their spine and are still seeking more sensation, you might explore bowing forward, but again, avoid rounding. So you still want your left elbow going up, right elbow back, and maybe you fold with a flat back. That's quite a lot for me right now, so I'm gonna stay up. So just giving you some options to play with. And now let's close our eyes and breathe. Slightly tuck the chin towards the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. Five deep breaths here. Relax 
relaxing your jaw, opening up through the chest, the shoulders, the upper back. starting to open your eyes, gently release the strap and release the arms. Good. Now from here, we're just going to extend the left leg. If you're sitting on something, you can stay there. Extend the right leg, shake it out, give yourself a little massage, whatever you need. And then we'll just enter it now from here. So you're going to bend your right knee, place it over that left thigh. We did this earlier in our twist, but now we enter cow facing. So now you stack the knees again, right thigh is now on top. Find what feels good to you. If you wanna walk the feet forward more, getting the shins more parallel, notice the new sensations that come up there, or walking the heels closer in towards the glutes. Sit up tall, take the strap in now the right hand. Reach the right arm up. Bending your right elbow, so the right elbow is pointing to the sky. Bend your left elbow, now your left hand's behind you and catch the strap. Walking the hands towards one another, remembering to maintain the length in the spine, sit up tall, lengthening all the way up to the sky, rooting all the way down into the sits bones. Maybe finding a clasp of the fingers if you're really open in your shoulders today, or just holding on to your strap. Option to fold forward, maintaining the length in your spine, that's too much for you like it is for me right now then just come back up five breaths here opening the eyes. Release the strap, left hand comes back to center, right arm comes back. Just move the strap to the side, good job. I know that can be really intense. Extending the legs, coming off of whatever you were just sitting on. Extend your legs out, shake it out, and we'll come into a seated fold after that. So this should feel really nice for the hamstrings. If your hamstrings are really tight and you have that blanket or towel, I would suggest taking it underneath your knees and that helps your hamstrings not take so much of the stress from the fall. Inhale, reaching all the way up, lengthen as if someone's pulling you up, heart shines forward. Exhale, up and over, gentle seated fold. Release the hands wherever it feels best. You can even rotate out the neck a little bit. Just a little stretch for the lower back. So surrender your heart forward and down. <sighs> if you're sitting in cow facing legs with the knees bent, even if you're just cross-legged, it's a nice stretch for the hamstrings, the back of the legs, they extend the legs long. And just enjoying this counter stretch. yourself up one vertebra at a time, removing any support you had under your knees. Let's bend our knees, plant our feet hips distance, and the hands come back behind you, fingertips face forward or slightly out if that feels better in your wrist. Make sure the toes are pointing forward, treat our hips distance, coming into reverse tabletop to open up the chest. Press through the feet, be kind to your wrists, and let's lift the hips. So really active in the legs here, soft in your glutes, feel the quads really engage here as you lift the hips higher. Remembering that your neck is an extension to your spine, so you don't have to drop the head back unless that feels good to you. It's quite intense for me. So I'm going to stay up here and we breathe. Maybe even rocking front to back a little bit. If that feels right to you in your shoulders. Keep lifting the heart up. One more breath. And then slowly come back. All right, friends, we're coming into our final seat. So we're going to end this class seated. A couple more neck stretches before you go. 
So again, if you want to sit up on something, if that feels good to you, crossing the legs or sitting in a kneeling position or in a chair. First, before we move a little bit more, let's just close our eyes. Just notice how you feel. Notice how the neck feels, the shoulders feel, the chest, the upper back. Take a deep breath in through the nose, sighing it out. Good, opening your eyes slowly, we're almost done. From here, you're gonna slowly sit up tall guide your left fingertips over to the left. So your fingertips are on the mat. Inhale, lift up a little taller. And as you exhale, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And then from here, if you want to play with a little bit more sensation in the right side of your neck, I invite you to extend your right fingertips out, not on the mat this time, and we flex that right hand. Just notice how this feels in the right shoulder, the right side of your neck, even in your wrist. So flexing that right wrist, the left fingertips are down for support, and we continue dropping the left ear to the left shoulder. Two more breaths here. Releasing the hand back to the lap or the thighs or the knees, bring the head back up. Big breath in, let it go. Either keeping the eyes closed or you can gently open them. Let's switch sides to take the right fingertips down to the mat, off to the side. Fingertips in line with the hip is fine. Sit up tall, inhale. And as you exhale, right ear, right shoulder. I invite you to extend the left arm out, flexing the left wrist. So notice the sensations here that come up when you flex the wrist. You can even notice the difference when you um, point the fingertips down. And just notice how it changes the sensation in the side of the neck and the shoulder and the upper back. <sighs> Breathe here. Right ear, right shoulder, left fingertips extending as you flex through the hand. hand follows, come back up to center, sit up tall, inhale, exhale, sigh it out. Good, last thing here, open your eyes and release the fingertips of the lower back. Inhale, opening up the chest as you squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. Exhale, bringing your knuckles, your hands here in this clasp position over to the left. So it's almost like it's a holster here, sitting in the side of your body, right above the hip. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Feeling a nice stretch in the right side of your neck here as you draw the hands over into the side waist. Maybe here, play around with dropping the chin to the chest. Maybe making a full rotation or just going halfway right to left to you, exploring different ranges of movement in your neck, noticing the stretch that you're getting, any new sensations that pop up in the shoulder region, the upper back. Maybe we're drawing circles, rotating out the neck, go the other way. back chin to chest this time extend the hands back behind you open up the heart gaze up inhale and let's take it to the other side head comes back to neutral exhale bring the hands over to the right sit up tall and we drop left ear left shoulder hands are over on the right side of the body keep drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears and maybe start to explore movement 
dropping the chin to the chest maybe, maybe going all the way back, or you don't have to move at all if you want to just breathe into that and hold in stillness, that's totally fine. back chin to chest take your time sending the hands back behind you once more inhale open the heart send the gaze up towards the sky offer the heart up and exhale it comes back to neutral release the hands inhale reach the arms all the way up and overhead maybe look up this time as the palms come to touch hands to heart center Checking back in, noticing how you feel, specifically in our focal region today, which was shoulders, chest, neck, upper back. No judgment, no expectation. Just noticing how those parts of the body feel right now. Deep breath in through the nose. Side out. Slowly bow the head down, honoring your practice today. From my heart to yours, wishing you a beautiful day ahead or evening ahead, wherever you might be. May you go in love, in peace. Namaste. Mm -hmm.